not be afraid, my beloved ones, for there cometh from this place music uncommon to stir the soul. How do you do, ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls, and teachers and people? I am the professor. Julia Sumner Miller is my name, and it is physics we are doing, but in this case, a mathematics of an honorable sort. Euclid's five regular polyhedra, which I urge you to make models of in cardboard and put together. We have already pointed out the tetrahedron. Here is the hexahedron, six faces. Here is the, uh, what is this, the octahedron, eight faces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Notice the beauty of the arrangement. Here is the, do, uh, do, uh, yeah, the dodecahedron. Notice one, two, three, four, five, six, and six more, 12. And notice the beauty of the arrangement whereby if you have six hands, in which case it is better now that I were an octopus, I could put that together very nicely into a dodecahedron. And now finally, the icosahedron. Notice how it can be put together, the triangular faces, and with a little help from mother and father and six others, plus several teachers, it can be put together into the icosahedron. And while I am on, <clears throat> excuse me, while I am on Mr. Euclid, Euclid of Megara, I am led irresistibly to urge you to consider his prime numbers. See, notice, physics, mathematics, they are as one and the same. Yeah, description of nature. Euclid said that a number is prime if it has this form, two to the two to the p, all plus one is prime. Let us take a few moments to explore these and you take it on from where I leave off. If p is one, if p is one, we have two to the one is two. Well, let me start with p is zero. P is zero. If p is zero, two to the zero is one. Two to the one is two, plus one is three. And three is prime. If p is one, if p is one, two to the one is two, two to the two is four, plus one is five. If p is two, if p is two, two to the two is four, two to the four is 16, plus one is 17. If p is three, we have two to the three is eight, two to the eight two to, two, 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 is 256 plus one is 257. If p is four, oh ho ho, I hope you see what's happening. From here on, the number gets enormously big. If p is four, we have two to the four is 16, Two to the six, uh, two to the four is 16. Two to the 16 is something, plus one, and I can't do that in my head, but that's a very big number. That's a very big number. I say that's a very big number. Now, if P is five, we are worse off because my mental arithmetic is not that adequate. That's two to the five is two to the 32. Two to the 32 plus one, an enormous number enormous number and I invite you to pursue this because it is a beautiful little exercise for children of all ages